Okay, it's time for the final match. I just watched one of the previous videos and I realized that I should not be playing all foil lands because it makes it very, very hard in the video compression software when every single frame, a half of the uh, frame is changing. So I will fix that for next time. This seems like a pretty good opener. I will keep it. This is a two and one so far. This is my first daily event with this deck. I've been doing a lot of um, tuning and practicing. As I said, uh, this used to be a very, very different deck. It used to be black green. I used to have a lot more cyst bears and blight mambas and uh, even uh, blight widows in here, but just slowly started to realize that it was these guys that were pulling the most weight and um, just that I needed to bring in m even more stuff to protect them. Um, and then when I realized that they had released Blighted Agent, I saw that I could pretty much just side out black for blue without losing any cards, and I got Brainstorm, plus some like extra special sideboard stuff. So Very pleased with the deck so far. I apologize for the couple slow slash misplays sprinkled around here and there. Um, as I said, I'm still sort of learning how this deck works. And as usual, you can't F6 because you can mutagenic growth. I um, think this is a situation where I just play Iker Claw Mirror. Guessing this is the black discard deck. Well, <laughs> speaking of black discard, he's discarding. Yep, I would say it is. Okay, so here's where I really want to get Simic Growth Chamber into play. Probably have this. I have a pretty head, a, a good head start on him. I gotta look out for Crypt Rats though. I probably should not play this White Agent. Crypt Rats is probably the worst card for me here. I think it costs four though. I don't know. It costs a lot. He's in the tank. The thing about this deck too is like sometimes you basically just get free wins. Like there are just turn straight up turn two wins, and there's basically nothing your opponent can do about it. I hate playing a deck that's not very reactive, but like or uh, interactive. But um, I also like to win Magic. So go ahead and try using Ranker here. Alright. Doomblade is good against the stack. Will not lie. Cycles on Earth. This is still looking pretty good for me. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is brainstorm. Am 
I have a land floating to use for Iker Claw Mirror. Um, put you on top and you on top, I think. I really don't need this forest. Okay, because now I can play Iker Claw Mirror and still have all my pump spells up, and I think he's just dead. So I giant growth here. Four or five. And dead. Okay. Um, I think some number of corpse curs are coming in. So Rot Wolf out, corpse cur in, 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 a giant growth out, a tranquil thicket out, I have 61 cards, um, because of Doomblade, maybe take out a ranker, that just seems so bad, I think I'd rather take out a giant growth. I guess they got a... No, Bone Splitter is better than Ranker in this matchup. Um, I think you just take out two Giant Growths and a Tranquil Thicket and a Rot Wolf. Although, hmm. Yeah. Try this. This is definitely the deck that the Corpse Curs are there for. I could bring in an Intervene over the last Giant Growth. That seems okay. Um, and actually I think I will bring in the second intervene over a mutagenic growth because Doomblade is pretty good against me and he's likely going to side more of them in. So, 